how blessed we are to have made it into a, a new week. You know, the year uh, is the 45th week of the year 2020. Uh, it's amazing how time rolls by, and, and, and once it's gone, it never comes back. Here we are on another magical Monday morning, uh, a wonderful day that will last only 24 hours before it ceases to exist. Already, we've, we've spent about six of these 24 hours uh, mostly sleeping. Now, our goal should be to put the rest of it to the best use and, and waste not a minute of it doing what we shouldn't. Now, they say procrastination is the thief of time, but is it the only one? Today, I want to talk about the other thieves of time, grudges and vengeance. How long do you stay angry? Now, some people can bear a grudge for days. Others can slow cook their resentment for years. Now, I never stay upset for long. I, as soon as I voice my displeasure verbally, I, I immediately feel better. I can't bear being at loggerheads with anyone. After an argument, I immediately want to be friends again. It's because I know that no matter how long it takes, most disagreements between friends will get resolved. So why not resolve things immediately and save all the hours and days and weeks and months we would have spent not talking to each other? In the end, what is the value of holding a grudge? Is anger a pleasant feeling? Does resentment make you feel good in any way? Has anyone in the history of mankind ever benefited from resenting another person? Yet, we do it. It seems people would dedicate hours and days and weeks and months of their lives celebrating a conflict by depriving themselves of each other's company. Hours, days, weeks and months that they will never get back. As for vengeance, well, the amount of time and effort we put into it never ceases to astound me. People will plot and scheme for years to bring about the downfall of someone who has wronged them. But after they achieve their enemy's total destruction, what next? Why invest all that time and all those resources in someone else's pain? <laughs> I remember a story about a guy who walked into a brothel and asked for a girl with AIDS. <laughs> the brothel owner was surprised and asked why, but the man insisted so an infected girl was provided for him. After he had done his business and was about to leave, the brothel owner called him to one side and said, Look, I've got to know why you wanted a girl with AIDS. What's going on? But the man said, Well, I have a plan. When I go home, I'm going to sleep with the maid. The maid will then sleep with the watchman. The watchman will then sleep with my wife. And my wife will then sleep with the chauffeur, that useless man who killed my dog. My dear friends, let us learn to let go of resentment, to abandon grudges, and to reject vengeance whenever it rears its ugly head. The Chinese say, he who sets upon the path of revenge must first dig two graves. All that effort placed in demonstrating enmity is so much better employed celebrating love. My name is Kojo Yangsen and I'm too busy loving you to hate you. Good morning, Ghanafo. Thank you.